Hello, today I wanted to make a quick video showing you how to integrate ChatGPT with Python. Now, we actually use what's called the Chat Completions API that's provided by OpenAI, and that's similar to what ChatGPT uses, but they have their own internal version, but this is what we get, the, get access to and are able to use. It's pretty simple to use, luckily. So first, we're gonna start by opening a new main.py file that I already have open here. And go down into the terminal and run pip3 install open AI, like so. Now I want to mention really quick, I have a Node.js version of this video. It's one of my more popular videos. So if you're interested in doing this in Node, go ahead and go down into the description below and click the link and you'll get to that video. So the first thing that we're going to do once we're in the file and have open AI installed, well, first we're going to clear the terminal and then we're going to import open AI. Like so and we need to set the open AI key. So API key. So to do so, we're going to run openai.api underscore key, and we're going to set this to an empty string for now, and I'll go ahead and show you how to create your API key and place it in here in a few moments. Next, we're going to come down to the next line, and we're going to start by setting a response equal to a function that we're going to run on this OpenAI package. So we're going to set response equal to openai.chat completion. The completion uh, package where it, instead of chat completion, it used to be dot completion is now a legacy version and isn't compatible with a lot of things we want to do. So I'm going to then run chat completion dot create and put an open and closing parentheses. Now there's a couple different parameters we need to feed through here. The first is going to be model and I'm going to feed through the most recent model. If you look on the OpenAI docs for this, uh, for this chat completion API, which I'll leave in the description below, there's going to be a bunch of different models that they provide you that you're able to use. All of them cost different amounts, have different levels of complexity, and they also have different speeds that they uh, respond to you at. So the first thing we're going to do is press put model in here, and we're going to put that to GPT-4, which is the most complex, slowest, and also the most recent model. And then the second parameter we need to feed through is messages. And this one's going to be a little more complex. And this is what you would probably end up dynamically feeding data through, uh, to, through however you take in the messages and the data that you want to feed to the API or to the AI uh, from your application. So for me, I'm just going to statically put some messages in there and show you how it works. So you want to create an array of objects, and each object is going to have a role. So in this case, you want to just run user if you just want one response back, but there's some more examples on the AI or the API docs. Again, go ahead and check in the link description below if you want to see some more complex stuff that you can do with this. I'm going to go ahead and set the content, which is the other key that you need, equal to say hello to the viewers, just like so. And then I'm going to come down here and print the response. Now this won't work yet because we do not have a API key. So let's head over to Chrome where we're going to go ahead and create one. All right, we're now in Google Chrome and I'm going to head over to platform.openai.com. Now I'm already logged in, but if you're not logged in, you'll see a login or sign up button up here in the top right. Go ahead and log, log in or sign up depending on whether you have an account or not. Once you're done, Go back up into this top right menu and press view API keys. Now you'll likely have none. I have a bunch of them and this is because I've done a bunch of different things with the API, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new secret key and I'm going to say this, put this as Python demo and I'm going to create secret key. Now I'm showing this secret key on the video because I'm going to delete it right after I'm done. Uh, this will not no longer be a valid key when the video is live. Do not show your key to anybody. Do not put it into GitHub repositories. When, when people get a hold of this key, they can charge the key with a number of different API calls. So they can, each time it gets called, you get charged a certain amount of money and people can use your API keys. So do not share this key with people. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and head back over to my code editor and drop that right in the parentheses that we have, or not the parentheses, the quotation marks um, and set that equal to the API key. Now this should work and we should get a simple response back uh, and it will show us the structure of the response. So I'm going to run Python 3 and then main.py. And there we go. 
we can see we have choices and this is where your response actually ends up and we get a message with content hello viewers so i can go ahead and drill into that and we can just get the the response we want back so choices zero dot message dot content so i'm going to save that and i'll clear this and run it again and there you go you get a the just the response that you're looking for and it's going to be different every time i run it because it's being generated on the fly there you go the last thing i'm going to show you is how to get your responses in json or any sort of format that you want because i wanted a more complex json format for my responses and so i'm going to show you how to do that here i'm going to create a, a string up here for the content that is a little bit easier to read and i'm going to say give me give me a response uh, to the prompt say hello to the viewers in the following format i'm going to say do not uh give any other characters only json just like so and i'm going to then add a colon whoops and then i can't do that i'm going to go ahead and add a brackets and i want my uh my json object to have uh, let's say name and then i'm going to press colon and i'm going to say insert random name here i'm going to have it make up a name insert random name and then message and insert message just like so and it should give me this format most of the time so hopefully it will give me this format and then you can parse the json and if say it gives it to you correct 90 percent of the time which is my experience then that 10 percent of the time you go ahead and try and parse it you get an error and then you run it again and then you do that i usually do three retries which means it ends up being about one in a thousand end up failing and you can do that as many times as you want so you can get the, the odds smaller and smaller until they're completely negligible all right, so I was trying to demo this without realizing that I still had this say hello to the viewers string inside of the content instead of actually switching it to the content string. So I'm going to save that and then I'm going to go ahead and run it and we should get what we're looking for. There it is. Whoops. I'm going to go ahead and add back choices zero dot message dot content that I deleted while I was trying to debug my stupid mistake. I'm going to run that again. We should get exactly what we're looking for. There it is. So that is a, that looks like a JSON parsable string. So I would then parse that and feed it through the rest of my application, however I need. So I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Below is going to be a link to the GitHub repository that I'm gonna put this file on. Uh, what I am going to do is delete this API key. So this is no longer going to be available. And I'm also going to revoke the key in OpenAI. And then I'll go ahead and save that. So this is what you'll end up seeing in the GitHub repository. Again, hope the video helped. If it did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.